What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 3.03 p.m. on February 3rd of 2022. Ahead of time before I get into this video, remember that I am not going to be making a video on this channel for tomorrow because I'm going to be on my Fallout Freak channel making my first video on my Fallout Freak channel. I will leave a link to my channel in the description below and be sure to subscribe. Please, please, please be sure to subscribe. You will not be disappointed, especially if you're a Fallout fan, you won't be disappointed. Also, I'm going to be without my laptop on Saturday and Sunday, so don't expect another video on this channel until probably Monday and don't send me any recommendations until Monday because I'm probably not going to get to any recommendations until then. But uh, for right now, with that being out of the way, I would like to welcome you all to my 14th story time with Steven. And this is going to be about one of my interview stories when I went on a uh, interview to a uh, potential job or a, uh, a potential, uh, yeah, 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 job interview. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So there were three different people that interviewed me. The first one was super nice. I mean, we we just just clicked right away. We hit it off right away, and she was like very very friendly. And she was a VCU basketball fan just like me. And we talked a lot about that. We talked about a lot about what the job would entail. And uh, this was going to be uh, covering from someone who was pregnant and it wasn't temporary uh, I think she was going to get another job after her pregnancy um, after she gave birth but um, yeah I definitely hit it off with the uh, first person I interviewed the second person I interviewed was the person who I was going to take over for and um, it was it, it went so so you know I mean it wasn't bad but it wasn't as good as the uh, first person who interviewed me she went uh, into more went more into depth about what the uh, what the job would entail and what my duties would be for the job and she asked me a few questions you know if I was like that like what my what my strengths are what my weaknesses are and um, what my uh, previous job experiences were like and what other jobs I held and you know it went so so it wasn't bad but it wasn't good and then the third person came in and this is where everything took a turn for the worst um, so she asked me where my portfolio was and I told her I that there was nothing within the job description or the application that said I needed a portfolio and she said well I don't know how I'm going to move any further along with this without uh, you showing me your portfolio if you have any questions for me feel free to ask and uh, she asked me if I have any Adobe Acrobat experience like Photoshop or something like that I told her I have no Photoshop experience and she said really I learned Photoshop when I was like in seventh grade. How do you not have any Photoshop experience? And she started getting really cocky and just really arrogant and towards me. And then uh, she asked me if uh, what interviews have I had, or not interviews, what internships, there we go, what internships have I had when I was at VCU? And I told her I didn't have an internship. And um, I, I told her I didn't have an internship my freshman year because, I mean, no one was really accepting interns uh, freshman interns or intern interns after their freshman year sophomore year I had to take a summer course because I was failing one of my accounting um, one of my accounting courses so I had to take an accounting course over the summer so I didn't get an internship then after my junior year after my third year I developed a uh, flare-up of ulcerative colitis so I couldn't do an internship then and after my fourth year after my senior year they weren't accepting any seniors because at that point, everyone probably had a job, had a full-time job of their own, and she said, "Really, how would you even graduate without an internship?" Well, <laughs> the main reason is because there were only a, a select few internships that were being given out to all of the business majors, and there were thousands of business majors, so they were they had to be extremely selective. So, yeah, I mean, do you want me to go home, get my bachelor's degree, and shove it right into your face and show you that I actually graduated? Do you want proof? I can give you proof if you want. I mean, I mean, I didn't tell her that, but right then and there, I, I really, really regret not having walked out of that interview. She was so awful towards me. And, um... And then I went to the uh, man and went to the uh, the hiring manager, and he asked me how my in how my interview was, and I told him all about it, and um, and he said that wasn't really like her, um, that that he would talk to her about it, and lo and behold, two weeks later, I didn't get the job, so apparently they did need like a a, a portfolio or something like that. 
Um, it didn't explain that I needed to have one, but I guess I guess it was needed or required. Um, but yeah, she was just terrible towards me. I don't want to say her name. I want to keep it confidential. But yeah, uh, that third interviewer was just so terrible towards me. And she said maybe one or two other things that were kind of arrogant and cocky. And I just was not a huge fan of her. Um, loved the first interviewer. The second interviewer, I could not really care less about. The third interviewer, hated her. Absolutely hated her. Cocky and arrogant. And was not a huge fan of any of that. But that was my uh, story time with Steven for today. My story time with Steven for March is going to be uh, probably one of the best moments of my entire life. Uh, but I'll get to that in March because it'll be fitting for the moment that March that that the time of March is in. It'll be definitely fitting for that moment. But that's my story time with Steven for today. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you feel. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and comment below. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Fallout Freak. This is Steven signing out.